Right now, take a look at these beautiful murals that are brightening up the little village neighborhood. Four new paintings are being installed on the outside of the Open Center for the Arts building. Four North and South Lawndale based artists created the art. The murals are part of a new exhibit called Step Out People, Health and Nature. Certainly like the bright colors, but as we look in the sky, not a lot of things brighten this up today. I know, I kind of like seeing those murals and all the bright colors kind of with a little pep in your step on what's going to be a gloomy next couple of hours and a little bit dreary, drizzly, damp. As we take that live look outside, you can see those low hanging clouds out there on a damp Thursday. So as we look at the big picture, we have this nice swath of rain that's pushing on through and we have a couple areas hanging on where we still have more meaningful showers. I'm looking farther north, but areas like out toward McHenry, we're already on that back edge for those showers that's going to continue pushing off toward the east all the way out through Waukegan. You still have about another uh, 45 minutes or so before things look much calmer in your backyard. Swinging out toward northwest Indiana, same deal here. We're already seeing that back edge of that shield of rain that's pushing on through. What's left behind? A little bit of mist, some drizzle, and chilly temperatures. We are holding steady all morning long. Upper 40s, low 50s. Out at the loop, it's 49. Evanston, mid 40s. Wheaton, 49 degrees. And Bolingbrook, 50. So the rain showers that we have out there will slowly begin to taper off as we go over the next couple of hours and then clouds begin to break apart. So as we go over the next several hours later on this evening should be nice and sunny before that next little push of energy comes through. Tomorrow morning we're going to be waking up to mostly dry conditions, but Friday we're still standing with the chance for a quick passing shower in some spots. Otherwise clouds and sunshine and a pleasant end to the school and work week. Not so pleasant looking at our temperatures. Saturday morning. We still just can't shake off this cold weather. Six in the morning, we have temperatures area wide in the 30s. So we could be looking at a little bit of frost as we kick off the weekend. Tomorrow, 59 degrees. And then a closer look as far as your weekend planner goes. Despite that chilly start on Saturday, we'll round out with a high of 58. Mother's Day is looking a bit damp. Some showers will be around at times. Temperatures will be much cooler below the average for this time of year with a high of 55 degrees. We're stuck with the cool weather for the long haul. Honestly, we will rebound nicely and look at milder temperatures by next Next week, Tuesday and Wednesday, partly cloudy with highs in the low 60s.